Hey guys, Warren here again from Mad Models 2020. Welcome back to part two of the Tamiya 135th scale German soldiers at field briefing uh, diorama uh, models to put together. So in my first part, you saw that I uh, put all, put all the uh, figures together, and now what I've done is I've cleaned them up. I've spray paint, uh, primed them. Um, I use the primer that I mainly use is um, Mo by Meg uh, one shot. Primer grey for this one. I know I can also use um, green and uh, tan depending on what I want to do or what diorama model I'm looking at doing. So what I'm going to do now, part two, we're going to get into the painting. So what I'm going to talk talk to you very quickly about is the types of paints that I use. Um, so one of the ones is a Scale 75 Warfront series. Uh, there's 64 different colours. The I find them a very um, a very good paint. What they do is they come out and they dry matte, matte, very matte. There's no shine on them whatsoever. So I find them a really nice um, finish on them. Um, I also use a few other products as well. Um, I also use, we're going to be using them, and this one is the Emma by Meg Winter Uniform for German soldiers, mainly looking at using these for the white parts of the uniform and we'll go into that a little bit later on uh, some of the stuff of, I also use the Ammo by Meg um, flesh tone colors I got this just recently and I found them actually quite quite a good um, range of colors for facial um, tones and all so we'll go into that as well and the other one I use is from scale 75 the fantasy series for eyes um, I'm going to use this one here, the blue, um, I've got the black for the irises, and then I use a mixture of the, the flesh and the white, just to take, I've used the, the flesh colour to dull down the white, so we've got for the, the whites of the eyes. So what we'll do now is we'll just, um, I'll pause it here, and I will get myself ready, and we'll get back into painting it. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> 